Last Foil Friday, we discussed some big stuff. And from that, there's a lot of questions arose. Now, I'm briefly going to talk a little bit about Astartes in this video, but most of the video is going to focus on something else. And that is a brand new animation. An animation I'm hearing that has a lot of money pumped into it between Games Workshop and Amazon, but this is all separate from the Henry Cavill deal and everything involved with that. So let's jump in and let's get waffling. Since this, of course, is a rumor video, I'm gonna say what I always say, rumors are rumors. Rumors are not facts. Rumors are always taken as lies until the companies involved come out with an official statement and we see it over on their social media posts. Until then, take it as that. A rumor, not fact. Now, let me first start by separating the Henry stuff, the Games Workshop, and the Amazon stuff. I know there's been an absolute buttload of videos about this. You've probably seen them online about Henry walking away and stuff like that. From what I've heard from my whispers in the warp is that it's still in contract talks. It's still in negotiations. There's a lot of money, of course, on the table when it comes to this, because if the project is successful, then they want to do other projects attached to it. They want to branch out into like merchandise and all the other things that comes along with it. And of course, Amazon Games Workshop want to see that all the contracts and the revenue and the shares and everything like that, you know, they all get a decent cut. Henry as well, of course, he's involved in, in all of this. As far as I'm aware, Henry hasn't walked away. He's still a big part of the project, of course, with his child on the way. I'm sure that's going to take priority. There's other projects. Um, Highlander, I've heard about rumoured being, or if it's not rumoured, I think it's been announced now, um, that Henry's going to be a part of. And of course, this is all probably going to be coming before this Games Workshop Amazon Henry crossover. But moving on from that, let's talk about the thing I'm making this video for. I'm probably going to put some footage in the background, by the way, so it entertains you rather than Shade Rack. Um, and that is between Amazon and Games Workshop doing this CGI, which is supposed to be big budget. It's supposed to be, like I said, completely separate from the, the Henry, Henry stuff. And it's supposed to be like a, an initial... Um, walking into what Warhammer is, like to get the new people into what Warhammer is. It's apparently all supposed to be about space marines, ultramarines, if I'm not mistaken. Um, something that got mentioned to me over and over again is the money. Apparently it's supposed to be big budget. I'm talking Astartes levels of CGI. I'm not saying Astartes is involved. I'll get onto the Astartes stuff again later on in the video because I think he's doing his own things with other stuff and other projects. And But I still think he is doing some form Okay, stuff, but again, we'll get onto that later on. So, this is supposed to be um, a, a type of like introduction into what basically what 40k is for like a, a cool action type of movie or series. I actually don't know if it's a movie or series at this point. One of the big stars I've heard attached to this is Idris Elba. Idris Elba apparently is going to be voicing one of the main um, figures in this animation. And if that does turn out to be true, then that's fantastic news because I absolutely love Idris Elba ever since I watched him in The Wire all the way to like his role in Thor and stuff like that. Um, I've enjoyed every role um, he's been in. So if he can come over to um, the 40k universe and add his silky voice to it, then I'm absolutely all for that. Now there's a second part of this rumor and this is wild. I personally don't believe this. I want to believe it, but I just don't see Games Workshop going down this road. And that is this Idris Elba character is supposed to be a mentor to Captain Titus, Lieutenant Titus, and it's supposed to then fold in with Space Marine 2. The reason I don't believe that is that I can't see Games Workshop going back and doing firstborn stuff when they keep trying to put hype on all the new models. That is just my personal take on it. Hopefully I am wrong and we do get Get some firstborn galore and it is all about idris and some captain titus crossover and that amazing thing but i just can't see games workshop from a business standpoint from a marketing standpoint going back to firstborn marines when they've been shoving primaris down our throat now for the past what seven six to seven years or something like that so again i don't personally believe that second part of this rumor and going along with this rumor and talking about animations and amazon and games workshop themselves something that always gets asked about this is is this going on warmer plus is it going to go on amazon prime now i would argue that anything that amazon do i gotta put it on amazon prime they want to put it on there to be fair it's a bigger 
their audience. Only people like me and you really know about Warmer, plus the fans who are already involved. Where if you put it on a platform like Prime, then it's probably going to go out to a bigger audience. I do say that I have heard a rumor that Games Workshop and Amazon have been talking about Warmer Plus shows and other animations, like uh, GW was going to give it to Amazon for like all the Warhammer Plus stuff. Um, apparently there was discussion on the board and everything like that, but Games Workshop sometimes feel like they want to remain some stuff on Warmer Plus so they can keep selling that product and earning more money from it. Again, it's all weird rumors at this moment in time. I think for the benefit of marketing and getting the product out there, I think it makes total sense that anything that Amazon does, it goes on amazon prime it'd be a stupid decision to put that stuff on warmer plus because it's already going to the fans that know what warhammer is they want it to go out to other people and get other people involved and get them through the door rather than the people they've already got in the shop now i want to talk about the status 2 creator his name is samadaya Pedersen, I can't, I, I butcher his name, so that's why I call him a stars. I'm sorry, mate, if you're watching this video. I really, really did try. It's just, it's me. It's Valrak, right? So the Stars 2 creator, um, we all know what happened with that. He got signed with Games Workshop. It's been quiet ever since. I'm personally at a standpoint where I think we'll probably never get a Stars 2. I hope I'm wrong. 1 million, 10 billion percent wrong. I hope they prove me wrong on that because I want to see a Stars 2. I know that chap has been working on other projects they've actually just released a trailer which he worked on called huxler i'll put a little bit of it in the background right now i actually did do like a uh, a reaction slash breakdown to this but since it's not really 40k i don't think it belongs on my channel maybe i'll put it on my channel um i'll ask permission from the the, the huxley guy if i can put it on the channel that's if you chaps uh, want to see it but it does feel very very 40k inspired very very grim dark 40k inspired but then again you know 40k borrowed everything from everywhere um but anyway back to the subject um a start is two probably not gonna happen but i know this status two creator has been working on other 40k projects he's done other cinematic projects for 40k games and um, the gray knight chaos gate game and um, he did the cinematic to that and as i've been theorizing now for a long long time I think he's been working on Space Marine 2 cinematics, and I think we're about to get like a big intro cinematic for Space Marine 2, even bigger than what we've got before, where it, you know, it revealed Space Marine and Titus and all the amazing things that happened with that. I really, really do think we're going to get something very, very soon. There's lots of breadcrumbs on the internet trailing to this you just have to look in, in in the right spot it feels like a foil video at this point i need to put the foil on right i need to mm. <laughs> mm. no don't do it Valrak. but this is what it feels like um is being built up at the moment something to do with space marine 2 and the status 2 creator so i definitely think he's still involved in the 40k universe in some way just not the start is two way and i'm not saying he's evolved with this idris elba rumor at all as i've probably already mentioned in the video um i think that is a complete separate studio uh, with amazon and games workshop anyway chaparinos that's enough talking from me if you've got any thoughts feedback uh anything at all let's have a nice little chin wag as we always do down below in the comment section um if i don't see you have a great weekend enjoy your time if you're in the uk the sun's out that means the guns are coming out as we always like to do see you have a great day evening night wherever you are in the world and 